what up chose Justin from Earth Gaming here bringing you episode 1 of Don't Starve. It's a pretty cool game, came out a while ago on PlayStation 4. Um, it was free with PlayStation Plus. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty good game, pretty good game. As the title, you know, kind of says, the object of the game is Don't Starve. So basically, I'm on day 23 right now. Just survived the winter for the first time ever. Usually I get fucked up by one of the many, many random creatures that they have in this game. If you've seen my live stream when I did this a while ago, I was killed by a... Well, I'm not actually too sure what it was. It, it looked like a walrus that had a kill time and it was dressed up like a... Yeah, it was a Scottish walrus that killed me with a blow dart. So... Yeah, there's a lot of weird shit in this game, so basically, just because it's winter, I did sort of have to eat all the food. As you can see, I'm kind of starving at the moment. So, in the winter, the food doesn't respawn as fast as it would if it was any other season. So, I'm just going to try, you know, try to find where all the food is at the moment. Just trying to re re like restockpile upon food. So... Yeah, so I'm just going to head back to my house, just because it's starting to get dark, and if you don't have, if it goes completely night time, and you don't have any light source, you get killed. Simple as that. No light, you die. Unless you can sort of craft a torch or something like that, and walk around with it, but yeah, you get fucked up in about a few seconds, if you go into complete darkness. So, a lot of things will kill you in this game. But here we go. My house. Well, base operations. Let's go and take that. Pumpkin. Yeah, you can grow crops and everything in this game. Got my tent. Got my, got my campfire. Got a few uh, science machines over there so I can start creating new stuff. That's how you have to create the science machine. And then you can create the alchemy machine. And you can use the alchemy machine to then create walls, as I've done here. You can also you know, create floors and everything. Can't create roofs, which is kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go, you know, go ahead, light my, light my fire. And, uh, yeah, so we might, you know, just cook this carrot. Have a nice roasted carrot for dinner. But it's pretty cool, um, see, every night time at the moment. It's pretty cool though, because uh, the more days you survive, the long or the shorter the night time is, which means it gives you more time during the day to go out and gather supplies. Because I mean, sort of the whole objective is sort of just try and survive as long as you can. Winter is quite quite hard to survive in, just due to the fact that there's a lot more elements you have to sort of deal with, you know, with the cold and everything. Because you can't freeze to death in this game. I've done that quite a few times. Get to the winter and don't have anything warm my dude to wear so he just freezes or can't get to a fire in time yeah so I'm just gonna you know go out try and find me some berries or find me an animal or something I can kill pigs are quite annoying to kill in this game they are pretty strong they will fuck you up yes oh there we go tree struck by lightning and the tree is now on fire that's why if you build your house around around like your trees and everything are Put a put a lightning rod there, so lightning strikes it and it goes to the rod instead of you know catching fire to the trees. Because I've had that once, in one of my games. You know, nice house, nice forest next to it that I planted. Had me quite a good farm. Had you know sustainable food supply. Bang! Lightning struck it. Fucking whole thing just. No, well, it it kind of set on fire and. Yeah, I lost everything, so I was pretty pretty annoyed, so I learned to put a lightning rod. So let's look at the map, look where some food is. But you know, we sort of hit the jackpot here, you need a couple berries, a few carrots. So let's get ahead over here, bang, another carrot. Oh, 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 another berry. Spit, spit, oh, some more berries over here. Let's take these. There's, um, a we're just gonna, you know, carry on going for a walk, walk around a bit more. Bang! More food. 
is exactly what we need. Where was all this shit in the winter? Not fucking respawning, that's for sure. I mean, my dude's gonna be fucking set for days with this food. And I got food for days now. You just have to be like, there's a lot of food in this game that will kill you. Like, there's a set of mushrooms. That if you eat them, like some of them will replenish health, our food. And there's like some that will replenish sanity. But there's some of them that will also drain your health. Oh, there we go. There's a bit of auto save in the game. So we're just going to head back for a walk. I've been killed a few times by eating mushrooms, just because I forgot which ones killed me and which ones didn't. It doesn't instantly kill you, but it does drain your health, so if you are sort of starving to death, don't eat a mushroom, in case it does kill you. Which is pretty annoying. So, let's go kill some shit. There's spiders over here. We've well, seen stuff on the shit, so they come out. We gotta fuck these bitches up. Bang. Yeah, they're gonna screw up. Do not eat monster meat. I made a monster meat lasagna. Killed me. Shit. But basically, the only reason you want to kill spiders, you can't get spider glands. Oh fuck, shit, don't worry, don't worry, don't wanna die, don't wanna die, run, run. Okay, spiders are going there. Um, yeah, you get spider glands, and they heal your health. And if you manage to kill the spiders, you can then, you know, attack the, the nest. Then when it does break, you do get spider web, which you can use to make rabbit traps and bird traps. Also a fishing rod. Never actually caught any fish in this game before. Not even sure if I can, but we'll head back to uh, to my house because it's getting a bit dark. And I mean, we got a quite a decent food supply here, so have a little snack on the way. We'll just you know head back, cook us up some food, and then get ready to go explore the you know next day. I mean, this is like. Definitely the longest we've ever survived in this game. I just should get around 15 days and then I'll die on some bullshit way. It's kind of annoying, but I mean, that's uh, the object of the game is to not die. And here we are. Hey, what the fuck are these things? Ah, what the fuck? Dude! What the fuck? It's got fucking killed! Well, I died, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm pretty fucked up, I died, but I'll be bringing you more of these, so stay tuned and 